I want to go back to the Carolina coast now for a look at some of the damage caused by Hurricane Florence. Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina is one of the hardest hit areas with widespread flooding and massive power outages. And that's where we find Fox's Ray Bogan. So, Ray, what's it looking like there tonight? So Thomas and A, you know, we talked a lot about the Cape Fear River and the potential for strong storm surges. Well, this afternoon it did overflow its banks. Uh, I'm standing some of that water right now. Although it has gone down and it's going back down to low tide now, this afternoon at about 2.15, it hit an all-time high. Rushing water surrounds coastal homes in North Carolina, marking the arrival of Hurricane Florence. The storm barreled ashore with 90 mile per hour winds, tearing down power lines and large trees. I think the street probably has some of the worst damage <laughs> that I've seen in Wilmington so far. But forecasters say it's the rain and flooding likely to do the most damage along the 11 foot storm surges. The storm continues to move extremely slowly, guaranteeing days of downpours. Hurricane Florence is powerful, slow, and relentless. It's an uninvited brute who doesn't want to leave. By midday, some parts of North Carolina already under more than three feet of water. Crews and neighbors braving the flooded streets to save people and pets from the fast rising waters. FEMA agents urge residents to listen and be smart. Heed your local and state warnings. Uh, protect yourself, protect your families. Uh, don't put our first responders' lives in jeopardy. So another thing we talked about was uh, some of the people who decided to stay because they felt that their house was at a high enough elevation, even if it was just 20 or 30 feet above sea level or the river. Uh, well, winds do not discriminate when you're only 20 or 30 feet above the river. And unfortunately, wind did appear to knock down a tree onto a home. And now a mother and her infant are dead and the father is in the hospital, Thomas and A. So very tragic. Ray, thank you so much for the live report.